Welcome everyone to the Arctic Experience, a brand new franchise mode on my channel in which we're going to create a weird layout that looks like this. And we are going to have a lot of fun building this project, uh, trust me. So stick with me if you want to know more about this. We are going to have a little bit of a nice time lapse, first of all, in which I'm going to prepare the layout. And I'm going to use this three-ish minutes of time lapse footage to tell you the idea of today's start of the franchise and also of the franchise itself. So this franchise is going to be set in the Arctic regions. To be more precise, it's going to be the Taiga biome. Um, I opted for the Taiga to have a bit more, you know, variety when it comes to the animals and also to the, um, you know, fauna, uh, fauna and stuff and um, using different plants in comparison to the Tundra, even though Tundra would have been a very interesting challenge indeed. Now, let me just quickly explain. We are going to have a lot of different animals in here that are all connected somewhat to the Arctic region. We are not going to have all the animals. There are some dedicated spaces for animals. However, we A, don't need to fill them all, and B, we might end this franchise a little bit more early than, you know, the overall zoo cap uh, capacity would you know, offer us. Um, the reason for that is obviously I am pretty confident that it's not possible to finish that zoo before the end of uh, the winter period. I mean, talking about winter in Germany is a thing anyways, because we have basically autumn for six months or spring for six months. Depends a little bit on, on what you prefer, because the temperatures and the weather are the same. Uh, they're anything but winter, so it's like at the moment, 17-ish degrees, light rain, everything is grey, um, Portland are killing me, and um, this is said to be that for like months now. Great, right? So as you can tell, I'm putting down all these um, habitat blueprints, as you can see, and uh, cleaning off what I have left over. And this is going to be our zoo. And um, there is one specific thing that you might, ha might have seen already in this screenshot if you are eagle-eyed or you have not. But um, the reason what I'm, why I'm doing all these things over here is um, one particular reason. <clears throat> and this is because I want to maintain a constant walk. It's a constant tour. It's going to be a one-way only zoo. And this is going to be a attempt I haven't done quite yet. And I really do hope it works. Um, the first episode turns out to be very positive in that regard. And um, I, I did a couple of testings and I really hope it works out at the end of the day how I think it should um, and we will also have like a tour and as you can see there is like an inner circle now and this inner circle is basically the most important thing because that's going to be the, the the sole reason why the people will turn to the right rather to the left because the way to the other habitats will always be longer and longer and longer and longer um, so yeah but that said Let's move on into the real-time part to see what I have done here. Welcome to the real-time part, and here you can see the final result of my little layout. As I said already in the quick voiceover, this is not going to be the final version of it, but it definitely does do its job, and this is uh, laying the foundation of what uh, this whole thing will become eventually and this is a well rather straightforward circle is that even a word straightforward circle anyways you know what i mean um guiding the people through this uh, experience in one um whole loop so to say and this inner loop is meant to be kind of the uh, you know um the final thing to hopefully keep them from going this route because as we have animals starting over here to the bottom right we should make our way to over here and uh, then we have to uh, make sure that the most popular animals are like in this region over here so that people always have to take that route. But this is something we have to take care of in the future. So first things first, um, since the game is paused, uh, I wanted to make a little quick real-time part. So this is going to be our first habitat area. So as I said in the voiceover, we are not always going to take one area and we are not always keeping the same like layout with the pathing. It is just like a broad idea, you know, um, just to have something in here so we can already also take the first habitat uh, and just uh, delete it, I guess, because, well, actually we don't need that. That was just like for my blueprint. Um, and we're definitely going to make the bridge look a little bit better in a couple of seconds. But the new kind of approach is that I will definitely do a little bit of an organizational thing right now, and then we will skip over into a little time-lapse again. Now, 
the first thing I'm going to do, and uh, um, bear with me, it's going to be um, rather tricky at the beginning, but I think it's going to be easy enough to have that area located in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down a hub that is always in between two of those things, which will um, have like food shop, drink shop, whatever we need, information kiosk, and then um, trying to see how many of those we need. We're going to make one um, very, you know, uh, stylized but simple blueprint that we can carry on across the whole thing and then just connect with certain things. I have some cool inspiration of some architecture um, that I really do like and so let's start off with these little hubs that we need. So first of all we're gonna go to facilities and we're gonna plop down what we need. So first of all we do need electricity uh, electricity, because obviously as you can tell over here there is no electricity. Uh, I gotta have to check out, I think this is far enough away from the path even though we will be uh, i'm not quite sure if i should use the wind turbine instead the problem is that we will also need something down here like uh, you know education boards and stuff so yeah i might need to use the transformer anyways let me just see yeah this is something this is like a position that i can take i think this is fine um yeah, gonna put it down here. I think this is the only way to go. Uh, and then we need some uh, staff facilities first. And we're going to start with a uh, small keeper hut, which is gonna go to this side. Gonna have a staff room that is gonna be placed uh, like that. And I'm also going to put a workshop down over here already. The rest is gonna be located here later. But um, what I will do already is I'm gonna put like the path down. Um, and then there is going to be like a, a little, <coughs> excuse me for that, by the way, my voice and stuff is still, uh, you know, having a bit of trouble. Uh, I think it's the same issue as we have always. Um, kind of just split that from the group, move that tiny bit further back, and then we should be set to really have a uh, wait, the width is not really correct. There you go. Let's go to four meters. There you go. Connect those two. I should now be able to... Okay, I'm not. Uh, so let's delete that and then just do it that way. There you go. Fine, that works. Okay, whatever. Um, so yeah, this is exactly what I'm going to do, but I'm going to use my old kind of little staff path trick. So what we're going to do is just like make sure that we check the links down to one and then just... Uh, oops, I have the sl uh, sloped, uh, cov curved slopes activated. There you go. My English broken. And then just going to use it like so again. Uh, I'm not even sure if I will use the path texture all the time. But uh, for the moment, I think it's a good path texture to go with. Um, okay. You can, you're going to be annoying like that. Okay, well, fine. Then be annoying. Uh, okay, that doesn't work. Okay, let's keep it that way. Awesome. So we've got this. We've got the the staff room over there and what we're going to do right now is we're going to put some facilities down in the front guest facilities actually let me go from that one um we're going to start off with some drink stalls no let's put the food in the center i think that should be fine it's going to start with the uh, missy good counter which is going to go here in the middle i think that's a good spot and then we're gonna mirror that with a pizza pen on the other side um now yeah, let's let's just move that a little bit further yeah one meter is fine so one two three four five there you go we should be able to put that down here awesome okay so that's that and um we should actually be able to put a path connector here awesome and now what's very important is that we have like another connection going here but what we're going to do is we're going to actually put down drink shops and we're going to uh do i have the angle snap turn on okay i, I want to have them in the exact same angle here that's that okay and then 50 uh no let's 30 45 30 i think 30 is fine let's plop that thing down here and then we're going to do the same with we, we hunt that blue one with this, is that pip shot water no okay we can still use pip shot water and then Let's do the same over here. Let's first of all straighten it, awesome. And then one, two, there you go, until it works. Why can I not place it there? Okay, well, whatever. I mean, I could use free build, but then the, the pathing wouldn't work anyway. So let's put it down here. Um, that's that. 
and we're gonna put down the path like so i know this time around it's not the most clever thing in terms of uh, <coughs> you know keeping the money go but um this is down to the fact that we need some drinks and stuff and i really know already that this is gonna lead to some crazy congestion this is why um I I'm not going to make like a shortcut over here. I'm not going to do that. But let's see first of all how that works. It should hopefully work good. I mean we can still try to have certain like areas, overflow areas in here. I've no idea if they do work or what we can do with those. Um well we're gonna see how they look, but because we also need to put some benches down and stuff, so that's something for the future. But uh I will test this how how this works, if that's kind of a good overflow, if they all will be staying in here. Uh, we're gonna have a look at that, but that's that. We are going to now make a habitat over here, and you will see which animal is gonna go in here. I actually have no idea what kind of animal I wanna have in here. I haven't really made my mind up about this quite yet, but yeah, you will know already, so let's start the time lapse. All right, so here we are back in a little time lapse. It's about four and a half ish minutes, I guess, in which we are going to prepare the king penguin habitat. Now, this one in particular uses the um, layout I have designed uh, for the entire zoo. But that said, and I will repeat myself quite often in this episode, um, it's not going to be the layout that we will always use. Um, it's a bit of a Happy coincidence that this works out this way. Um, I just had an idea in mind how it should look like, and I figured, you know what, that just works. Um, I gotta say though, um, midway through the habitat build, I figured that we were abusing a little bit too much of the money. Um, I am a sandbox builder at heart, so whenever I start building like this and I put a you know audiobook on my on my ears and just made sure that everything is in in best condition to you know go for it and build um, I obviously never think about the money which I should definitely uh, have done uh, before I did so um, I was also constantly trying to get a tunnel done but um, it seems like I have done this way 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 too little uh, too not often enough because I have no clue how I do a tunnel nowadays. I'm not sure if there's a way to make it more easy with free build or not but at the end of the day I decided against this um, uh, because also the tunnel should need to be or would need to be like two meters deep so that I can dive through but I'm not sure if they would even dive through so uh, you know, um, for these like two times in six years where we might look at one diving through that, uh, it was worth it. And um, yeah, so we quickly s jump over to the money uh, destruction machine because that build over here is something I... Mm, I saw in a in a kind of architectural research I did about like you know northern Europe northern America arctic like winter region architecture and there was that kind of research center which had a really cool facade like this um, and I was like building and building and building and all of a sudden I was like oh my god this I'm, I'm just bankrupt what's going on and each of these pieces like one of one segment uh, did cost like two thousand um, so basically that was not you know the thing to be used and as you can tell i was also kind of you know refurbishing a little bit of the backstage area i was doing so a couple of little things here and there a couple of little things um adjusting but to keep the surprise a little bit alive i would say we call it a day over here and jump back into the real time part so you guys can see what i have done also by the way if you like this uh, type of switch between real time and time lapse and some cuts make sure to drop it down in the comments i'm still kind of figuring out what's the the perfect balance for a franchise and this time around i don't want to have like a dogmatic kind of rule i'll do it in these episodes well however i feel like is the best for the episode um so we try to keep it a bit more dynamic and um yeah let me know in the comments down below what you think about this uh, what you prefer and now let's do a little cut again and meet real time rudy all right done um Basically, from over here, uh, we have to now make sure that everything looks fine and we still get a little bit of money. The problem is, people are not going over here right now to grab some food or stuff because simply they don't need to go there. So, I think I will, for the moment, um, actually open this space up. So, hopefully this is going to create a little shortcut for them to actually reach the shops over here. Um, one thing I totally forgot, by the way, is a... Um, information kiosk which uh we totally do need uh, in order to you know sell the the tours and stuff um 
we are quickly going to do this. And then I will, oh my god, I can't even put this down. Um, I will make another little break in terms of, you know, gaining some money. Hopefully I can. I'm not even sure if I can, because um, it might be that I miscalculated a little bit. I'm not entirely sure, but um, it seems like people now do actually go here, which is good. Okay, we should try to bring in some uh, picnic benches and stuff and make sure that they, you know, drop their litter uh, in a good space and not anywhere weird. So I'm just going to put down a couple of bins here and there, just making sure that they don't drop their stuff anywhere. Um, does it help? I don't know. Uh, we'll see later, I guess. Uh, for the moment, that should be what we need. We also need to make sure that this thing is going to be covered in the future. There's like nothing that helps in terms of making it look good. And um, this over here is also really not nice. We can actually smooth this out on the go. Um, yeah, no, that's way too big, but that should be fine. And now smooth the whole thing out a little so that we don't have this. We'd, in case you're wondering how I'm doing this, um, I still have the free build mod installed, which lets you, um, you know, uh, change the terrain after you have already laid down the path, which is a huge help, by the way. Um, so in any case, if you're wondering why this is, that's the that's the sole reason why. Okay, so now at this point, as you can tell, we are just waiting for some money. And um, this is the status we have, but you don't need to wait for the money with me. So let's make a little cut. All right, we are back in business, guys, as you can see. 10k is on the board, and we are now... Um, Having quite a good of good run over here, um, we do have a broken uh, water treatment over here, as it seems. Uh, so we can actually uh, assign the mechanic real quick, and this thing has still a very negative impact on all the people. Um, so I'm actually questioning myself if I do wanna, you know, I'm just gonna as as soon as it's fixed, I'm gonna move it over to this spot over here, just like really trying to put it here to, so it hasn't got a negative effect on the people um, and therefore I'm just going to put down a little bit of a staff path over here that just leads all the way already to where I'm gonna put it so this one is there let me just move it over to this space I think this should all be good yeah this does cover yeah I think this is good and it shouldn't have too much of a negative impact is it still Having a bit of a scenery rating is three. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it's all in good condition. Let me see if the negative impact is still m an issue. It's not. See, that's awesome. And now we do have only this thing left over here, but that is just like a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. And I think we are almost there to reduce the amount of, uh, you know, impact by the amount of scenery we have uh, around here. You've seen, um, I, I put a couple of things down to make that look better. So as soon as we fully, you know what we can actually do real quick. Um, let me just do this. I'm not sure if this makes any sense, but we're going to go to stone and go to the wall pieces. That should be good. Um, let's use, yeah, let's use the uh, conservation 3D printed stuff. Why not? I think that's a that's a fair enough uh, thing to take, and we're just gonna yeah I don't know I'm I'm not even sure if we put more than these things in I'm just going to pull up down a couple of walls here and there just making sure that we have some you know make there like you know we can just have like something like this uh you you can have a window yeah why not there you go you got a window and uh, let's let's plop some doors in as well there you. Hello, can I just not... Okay, well, let's reduce the size. There you go. Have two doorways with the other doorway. Should be over here. Let's sync that in as a doorway as well. There you go. And we can also have like a full wall. Awesome. Yeah, not sure if I do more than that. You know, I'm just going to plop down these things for the moment being. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, chakalaka. Let's fit that one in here. That one goes in here. It's, it's all going to be one complex that we are able to copy. Um, so I need to, anyways, um, solve the issue. Painted brick. Yeah. Well, is that, like, the one to go with? I'm not sure, though. I think it's fine. What kind of color can we make it? Yeah, let's go with this color first, and then we'll see where this, this brings us in the future. I definitely want to change the colors of uh, the other sides as well, but... Yeah, for the moment, that should be all good. And that's that. Yeah, it's ugly as hell. But I think for the moment, that should be good. Let's see if that solved a little bit of the issue with this thing. 50% and boom, there you go. That's enough. Okay, we don't need to make more than that. Um, 
So, as it turns dark, you can see we still have the money, despite having plopped down quite a bit. The education is going good. Um, we've got a VIP in the park as well. We've got high amounts of litter. Where? That's not true. That is just absolutely not true. Oh, is it? Oh, oh, dang, it is true. Okay, well, actually, um, to, you know, avoid that, we should definitely plop down. I totally forgot that we had this going on so we're just gonna plop down quite a couple of those bins um at least my uh you know my strategy seemed to work uh with um making sure that people always do only go that way uh, you know what we can actually employ another yeah thank you tell me that we have successfully done this awesome and i'm gonna plop a second caretaker in here who's gonna take uh, advantage of being very much to the front. We've got some penguins over here. Look at them, babies! Hello, Lachlan. Okay, um, so I'm not sure how old these guys are, but uh, I got them very early on, and now we are at a stage where, yeah, it all might not be uh, too good anymore. But what we can really quickly do is we can just change the style of these things into those. Um... I quite like them more, to be honest. What's that though? Wait, this is this is which color is that? This is the this is the pillars. Okay, I want to have the pillars like in a yeah something like that. That's great, and that can go along with it. And what's that though? I have absolutely no idea what that is. Let's make that white. No idea what this is, but you know. There goes this, and um, yeah, we've done most of the work now. There are a couple of things I do not like, and this is what we're going to solve right now. We're going to put down a couple of rocks here to make this look a lot more rocky, and then we're good to go with today's episode, um, which I'm quite happy about. But we are just going to take these ones. I think they are good. And we're going to go random rotation, start off with the straight version, and then we'll work our way from here. Just going to make sure that we have a little bit of a, you know, nice rocky area here. Not sure how exactly this should look later on. Um, yeah, something like this is good. And then, sorry again. Gosh, my my coughing because of the pollen allergy is, is quite a bit stronger this year. Not really sure why, but it's super annoying. Okay, we might also use this bit over here quite nicely. Awesome. And just cover up these areas nicely as well. I think we need to check from the other side. That should look a lot better if we do so. Yeah, there you go. We can actually move our way in here and then just make um, some rock sides like that. And we can also have that like so. This would also make quite a bit of a nice impression to have like a nice wall that looks a little bit different. It's always like good to have a different placement here of these rocks. Uh, would be nice to see it a bit more in daylight, not gonna lie, that this would make things even more easy. Um, we can also just change the position a little bit again. There you go, awesome. And I do want to have some ground, um, ground rocks over here, so just to the side, just like that, so we cover up these things quite nicely see you, you can actually play around quite nicely with um, these pieces as well if you do well like act kind of carefully you know that should all be good and there you go that's all fine had a little crash here, I'm not sure what exactly happened, but we are back uh, at it and I'm quite done for the moment. So let's quickly grab that money and check what's going on over here. Okay, nothing to worry about. Uh, we can quickly say hello to our VIP guests over here. Um, we have solved our litter issue. I think most of most of it is done for today. Um, so obviously in the future there's a lot going on. Um, this building over here is obviously not done quite yet. Um, I want to make this like an implied backdrop. Let me just speed up the time so we have a bit of a nicer light going on um but yeah overall i like the habitat quite a lot i love the fact that they can move around everywhere uh, that they can do swim on both sides i'm just going to quickly show that to you because obviously you guys i think i haven't seen that anyway so this is this is the entire traversable area which i think is pretty neat um oh let me just see that this is not really usable so let's plop that down here there you go 
This makes our penguin very happy. There you go, now it's usable. And you can definitely tell that uh, the traversable area is pretty decent. Um, I mean, it's like way over the top. Uh, and it's kind of nice that they can't go on this uh, on this area over here, um, which they shouldn't. Um, sorry, I was just quickly interrupted because my screen just flickered. I'm not sure what exactly happened, but yeah. Um, so I'm very proud of it. It's it's quite the decent start uh, I was looking for. Um, and yeah, so zooming out, you can, well, not see too much because of the rain. Oh my God. But um, yeah, so this is, the, this is the layout and I filled in one, but as I said, this is n by any means the um, you know, final rule to always fill them in like that. I just, you know, felt like doing this is a good idea at the beginning, but um, th this might look totally different for the coming habitat or for future habitats. I don't know. We've got uh, 500 guests in here and I think we're making decent money now, so we have nearly enough money to start off with the next habitat. Um, we have quite a nice amount of penguins in here. We can actually grab some more from the shop, but this is something we are going to do in the next episode. So until then, have a good time. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you guys are interested into that series, make sure to subscribe to the channel. This is going to be our new franchise series. Um, there's going to happen some cool stuff with the old franchise series as well. I've got a guest builder at the moment uh, building in one of my franchises. I'm not going to say in which one. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Really make sure to subscribe to the channel if you have enjoyed and want to see more of it. But now I wish you guys a very pleasant weekend. Have a good time, stay safe, and goodbye.